In this video, I will show you how to save a PDF as read-only. When you make a PDF read-only using Safeguard PDF Security, it cannot be edited, screen grabbed, printed, or copy and pasted. All of these controls are enabled by default. I will now show you the DRM controls you can apply. So first open Windows Explorer, locate the document you wish to protect, right click on the PDF and choose Make Secure PDF. In the Document Access tab, access to view read-only documents can be allocated to certain groups or even individuals as required. In the Printing and Viewing tab, you can also select to log document views. This will log every time the document is viewed and who it was viewed by. In the View Watermarks tab, here you can add permanent and dynamic watermarks that can display user information, custom text and images when a PDF document is viewed. Adding dynamic watermarks can also deter photos from being taken of documents. And in the Environment Controls tab, you can also add a screen mask to prevent users typing text in another window. Once you're happy with your choice of controls, click Publish. Your document will now be fully encrypted and all DRM controls will be applied. Click OK. The newly protected file now has a .pdc extension. This is now a protected PDF file, which can only be opened with a lock wizard secure PDF viewer. If we double click to open the document, the Safeguard Secure Viewer will open and load the document. As you can see, there are no passwords for users to enter when opening the PDF and permissions cannot be removed from the PDF document and are permanently enforced by the viewer. Now we can view the document. We cannot edit this document in any way. There are no editing controls, no way of changing this once it's been protected. The print icon is also grayed out, which means we can't send the document to print. And if we try to take a screenshot of the document, all you get is a black square. So it's protected from screenshots. Okay, so the document is now fully protected and read only. When you're finished with the document, close the viewer, close Windows Explorer. 